This is the command center for the G4 HydroTap, chilled sparkling. We have all our water connections at the top of the unit, an LCD to control the unit, and a filter door where the filter is housed. Before we install the unit under the bench top, we need to remove the little protective caps out of the CO2 in or sparkling water outlet, chilled out and mains in. Now the command centre is ready to be fitted under the bench. First we're going to connect the water supply and the gas to the unit. The braided hose is supplied with the command centre. This is your water supply from the mains. You also need to fit your carbonation valve. This has an Allen key adjustment on the back of it for a flow rate. This goes in your sparkling out. Now we'll move the HydroTap into the cupboard. The chilled sparkling HydroTap command centre has now been positioned in the cupboard. Ventilation is required for the chilled sparkling unit. To the left of the unit we have over 50 millimetres of space and also to the right of the unit. You may also see that we have a cutout in the floor of the cupboard. This is just so that we can get cool air circulating in the cupboard. With a sufficient space left in the cupboard we can now finalise our water connection. Do the braided hose up finger tight and then give it another quarter to half turn with a shifting spanner. Once the water connection has been made you need to connect the USB cable. There's a female connection from the unit and a male connection from the tap. Orientate them correctly and clip them together. You should hear a loud click when they are connected correctly. Once they're connected, wind up the USB cable and locate it in the rear of the cupboard, up out of the way. This will protect it from water damage or mechanical damage that may occur in the cupboard. Because this is a sparkling water unit, you will also receive a CO2 bottle, regulator and CO2 hose. This should all be assembled before installation in the cupboard. To assemble, remove the regulator from the box. This is a preset regulator that is set to 300 kPa. Remove the little red cap off your gas bottle, your CO2 bottle. The regulator will thread onto the bottle. Before you thread it onto the bottle, make sure the isolation valve is turned off. You will have noticed some CO2 gas escaped while I attach the regulator to the bottle. That's normal and is just the regulator connecting correctly to the bottle. Next connection is our CO2 hose. You will find an olive located on the hose with a cable tie. Cut that cable tie and fit the olive in the nut. The hose then needs to be done up onto the regulator thread. Use a shifting spanner to finalise the connection. A CO2 bottle strap is supplied with the unit. This needs to be mounted to the side of your cupboard so that when you fit your CO2 bottle, it'll be held steadfast in the upright position. Secure it with a Phillips head screw supplied in the box. The final connection of your CO2 is to fit the male end of the gas hose into the CO2 in on the command centre. Once connected, you can turn the CO2 gas on. To test or make sure you have no CO2 or gas leaks, use a sponge and soapy water and dab it around your CO2 connection. If any bubbles appear, you've got a CO2 leak and you need to re-tighten the fitting. If not, clean the soapy water off and continue with the installation. Supplied with the HydroTap is a blue and white hose. These are for your sparkling out and your chilled out. Also in the box, you will find insulation, which is to cover the white and blue hoses. To fit, put your insulation in half and cut or break the insulation. Then, grabbing either the blue or white hose, feed it through one end of the insulation. Once you've fitted the insulation to the hoses, you need to fit the hoses to the tap assembly. Once you've fitted the insulation to the hoses, 
you need to connect the hoses to the tap. Once you've fitted the hoses to the tap, you need to cut the hoses to length and then fit them to the hydro tap. Mark up the hoses so they have good fall from the tap to the unit and then cut them. Plug the blue hose into the chilled out and the white hose into the carbonation valve which is at the sparkling out. Next step, plug in the power supply, turn the water on and then turn the power on. For newer models of the HydroTap, they come with an IEC electrical connection, which is found on the right hand side of the unit. Plug the cable in and turn the switch on. Once the power is turned on to your HydroTap, the first screen asks you which language would you like. I prefer English. Press next, it then asks you to do a CO2 purge. On the screen, press start. You will hear gas escape the tap. Wait for 10 seconds then press stop. Press next. The next screen asks you to do a filter flush. Open the filter door on the right hand side, locate the flush pipe and remove it. Using a bucket, open the stop valve and press start on the LCD. Water will start flushing through your filter flush hose. Wait till you've filled the bucket with at least 8 litres and then press stop. Turn it off and give it a good shake. Relocate the filter flush hose to the filter compartment. Press next. Your chilled sparkling hydro tap is now ready to be used. For any inquiries or installation advice, please contact your zip distributor.